थेटी का इंडिया Hi, this is Manu Tail from Energetica India magazine, and today we are here at REI 2022. And with us is Mr. Gaurav Kedia, Chairman Indian Biogas Association. So, can you please brief us what uh, all Indian Biogas Association is working in India? Sure. So, basically, um, as the name suggests, uh, Indian Biogas Association, we are pushing the bioenergy sector, primarily biogas. And normally, we talk about three bucket. Number one is the technical, uh, second one is the financial, and third one is the social. Uh, policy also falls under social bucket, in fact. Um, and this is how we are working. So, we are trying to look for the technology uh, which is suitable as per Indian need. Yeah, it's not just the copy based. And we are trying to optimize it with, of course, with our members only. It's a membership driven organization. Same goes with the financial as well. So, for example, recently we. Work with the World Bank and try to convince them uh, if they can start line of credit as far as the biogas sector is concerned. And the third one is the social um, bucket, which is very important because you know India is a relationship-driven uh, country. Uh, there are many social aspects that has to go into it when you are talking about um, Indian bioenergy scenario. Uh, if you start with the supply chain, the feedstock availability might not be a question, but availability to us might be a question. So we are trying to work out uh, with different village-level entrepreneurs with different industrialists you know when you talk about the value chain we are trying to cover from start till end as far as the value chain is concerned so can you please brief us about the your members sure so as far as the members are concerned so as i told you it's a membership uh, driven organization so we need to have the um, you know wide variety of members so mainly it's the industrial uh, members we have uh, psus um, including gale gas authority of india limited we also have hpcl we have a um, lot of international members uh, from industry side they are here as well whether it is uh, armatech uh, whether it is zuma whether it is uh, stalcom you name any and you can almost be sure that they are our member Uh, from industry side but academics are also um, you know when you talk about academia let's say even uh, professors from iits they are our member from iim ahmedabad uh, they are our member also from nit also few ngos in fact uh, they are also contributing and when i say members these are active they are, they are not just taking the membership and they are forgetting it so we are very lucky to have such kind of uh, membership base we always say that it's a iba family Uh, can you please brief us about your international players members? Sure. Um, internationally, we only have the industrial um, body. In fact, uh, uh, so mainly they are into manufacturing sector. Uh, so um, uh, what we do, biogas can be um, you know divided into four part. In fact, five part. One is the civil. Second is mechanical. Third is electrical electronics. Fourth is piping. Microbiology also um, you know plays some role. But it's mainly from the mechanical side and electrical electronics side that you'll see a lot of uh, international members as far as the IBA is concerned. Can you please name a few of your German uh, partners? Sure. Uh, I mean, um, you have a look at our pavilion as well. Uh, so, Armatech, for example, they are into uh, manufacturing of um, agitators. Uh, we also have uh, got other uh, agitator manufacturers like Stahlkampf is there. We have other side of the um, you know uh, uh, members as well. So, not only the mechanical side. So, there are few from the electrical side, IoT side. In fact, uh, there is also gas pack from uh, Holland. Uh, their uh, their blowers are very famous as such. Uh, we also have Bukhart. They have got the manufacturing in india but as such they have got the base outside india as well uh, so yeah i mean wide variety of members in fact yeah. so while you are working in india what kind of changes you want ki that will promote biogas sure see uh, in management there is a concept called push and then pull Uh, you need initial push and the market should pull it that's how you see the sustainability of any model and uh, that's how we also believe in uh, as far as the biogas is concerned the push can be from the policy side so let's say 10 years uh, tax holidays which is existing in the power sector it's not that uh, you know uh, there is something which is not existing of course there are some uh, push from the government side right now subsidy is not there um, this was there till last year uh, we are expecting very soon the subsidy to be revived uh, so that more and more players can um, Uh, come into it uh, well um, apart from this one of the challenge with this sector is uh, facing is not the uh, sale of the gas but is the sale of the fertilizer so government can be more proactive in procuring i mean the companies like ifco cripco i know they are into chemical um, side but uh, they can equally emphasize from the organic side and for them it's nothing in fact the amount of fertilizer which will be produced but they can also give a push government can also give a push uh, to the organic fertilizer as far as the marketing is concerned 
uh, you are uh, working as, as a big organization for the biogas industry what difference you see in indian market and european market well um I don't know if it will be a fair comparison, uh, but nevertheless, uh, that's a good question. So let's uh, take a step back. Um, biogas was invented in India. Very few people know, yeah. um, but somehow it got traction in uh, Europe. Um, uh, but as far as India is concerned, we had a lot of small scale biogas plants. Of course, it has got its own plus and minuses, um, uh, but nevertheless, and Europe, they have very big large scale biogas plant the centralized one and in India uh, mainly it was decentralized now the scenario is changing because there is a lot of push uh, from bio CNG perspective Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas uh, came out with a scheme called Satat under that OMC's oil marketing companies can buy all this thing but one of the difference I would say um, in Europe it's mainly that you produce biogas you produce uh, electricity and when you produce electricity you also get the heat because they can sell the heat as well it's a cold country right in India, this model will not work um, because of many, many, many reasons. Uh, electricity, electricity itself, um, you know, we need to compete then with solar, which we don't want. And I think biogas has got much better utilization in form of uh, thermal energy, in form of uh, vehicular energy. And, um, you know, we don't have the utilization of heat as such, which uh, Europeans have. So this is one of the main difference, I would say, as far as, um, uh, you know, uh, market demand is concerned. But when you talk about the core, that is the biogas production, it's same. You know. In Renewable Energy uh, Expo as well, we saw there are lot of players who are in the solar industry and very few players are here from the biogas industry. Why is this? So? Sure. Uh, I mean, uh, again, uh, it's not the apple to apple comparison. Um, when you talk about solar, you need solar as well. I mean, of course, uh, I mean, uh, um, you need wind as well. But you need uh, bioenergy. Bioenergy serves a very different purpose. Solar is very clear. It's a product, in fact, most of the time. Uh, you put the panel, uh, you start uh, producing electricity. But here it's not about electricity only as far as the bioenergy is concerned. It's about waste management. It's about energy production. It's about uh, fertilizer production. It's about women empowerment as well because it's about Swaj Bharat mission. It's about Aat Nirbhar Bharat. What not, in fact, you talk about it. It encompasses or it has got a much broader aspect, um, you know, if you talk about uh, India's commitment towards uh, COP26, for example, yeah. So bioenergy can play a big, big role and in a very holistic manner. Uh, so once again, nothing to compete with solar. I think these two are two different things. Uh, the comparison will not be fair as such. As in solar, panels will be get uh, reused uh, after 10 years. So is this thing can be a uh, beneficial for biogas industry? Can th there is no recycling is required? See, um, there is a term called life cycle analysis. I think that's what you're referring to. Um, of course, when you talk about solar and uh, if the life is of 10 years, assuming, uh, then what will happen after that? Mm, land filling, which is not the good thing because you are solving one problem, but you are creating even a larger problem and that too for the next generation perhaps, which is not fair. You're right, you're very right. Here, as far as the biogas is concerned, almost everything can be uh, reused in a manner because again, the civil part, no issue. Mechanical part, no issue. Electrical electron, no issue. Piping, no issue. This is how we also see it. That's why we are very motivated and passionate about bioenergy as such. What, in your uh, views, what can be done to promote it much uh, on a larger scale? Sure. Um, I think when you talk about larger scale, I would again take a step back. Uh, maybe we can define the problem statement properly. So let's say if you say that the solid waste or the organic waste produced in cities, villages should not end up in landfill. That can be one of the uh, solution, uh, sorry, problem statement. And as far as the solution statement is concerned, I think then it will be a mix of centralized and decentralized both. I can't say that, no, uh, just stick to it. Uh, but awareness for sure is important right from the childhood our children should understand the importance of uh, uh, Swaj Bharat importance of uh, managing the waste properly and also not just putting it in a dustbin what is the fate of that waste ultimately that must be clear as well and this is the fate biogas and the bio fertilizer so awareness for sure secondly the proper policy push from the government side uh, it should not happen that we get the guideline and all this ki uh, kind of thing there should be a proper uh, enforcement of those policies in india we have very beautiful um, you know guidelines we have very beautiful uh, rules uh, regulations but this should be enforced as well um, we can keep talking about n number of other things but these are some of the very basic thing i think we can start with 
as uh, due to global crisis uh, now uh, energy crisis also emerging yeah. so is can biogas help in that again that's a million dollar question a very valid question um, uh, again we can talk about europe here uh, because of this russia ukraine war um, you know russia has got the um, uh, power uh, to simply stop the war uh, or you know close the valve of the gas and then the whole europe will be suffering especially during the winter um, uh, so what now um, uh, european union has decided they have decided to give a an, give an extra push to the biogas industry and now uh, again you know for example till one year before in germany everyone everyone was talking that now the saturation level has reached as far as the buy gas is concerned so let's look for other market but just because of this push again now they are uh, looking at german market lot of german companies uh, so um, uh, availability as well uh, not only from the supply side and why not i mean then you don't need to import or i mean i would say you can reduce your import i, I don't want to say that you don't need to import of course there might be delta yet but we are going in the right direction then that's the main thing yeah India is also going towards energy crisis due to this Indeed. global crisis ha has to has to we are not um, aloof in fact you know we are a part of the world so have to to biogas can be a bigger option for india also it can be a much 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 bigger option than anyone can ever ever imagine and again i am emphasizing mainly because india has got lot of organic waste when you talk about agriculture when you talk about paddy straw for example when you talk about any other thing anything organic in nature except wood can be converted into biogas and that uh, can be converted into bio cng ultimately yeah.